five ways to decrease that vulnerable feeling that customers have when they go online and they're working with your dealership. So I had a great conversation with a good friend and partner, uh, Cody, and Cody Anderson, he was saying, one of the most vulnerable feelings that customers have is like really right after they submit that lead, that, that their information. And it never hit me until he said it. And I was like, he's right. It, it really is right. It's, it's a weird feeling when a customer, so dealers, general managers, salespeople, whatever position you're in, think about that feeling that you have if it was outside of the automotive industry and you're putting your life out there, your name, your address, all this information, that's a weird feeling. It's not normal. So what I want to do is, is help you all across the industry. What are some things that we can do to make the customer feel less vulnerable when they're connecting with our stores? So I'm going to walk you through. And so the first thing that, that I want to encourage us to do and of course, these are going to include some video, all right? Well, you know, video is what connects us. That's why I'm talking to you right now on video. But we're going to talk about five key video strategies that will help uh, your dealership or the team help the customers feel less vulnerable. Let's get into it. So number one, the first thing is to have a video right after they submit their information. And I'm not talking about that comes to their email. We'll get to that. But I'm talking about right there on their website. So as soon as that information is submitted, if you notice, most dealerships right after the lead is submitted or the customer submits their information, I apologize, there's like this weird space. It's like, uh, sometimes it's a dead page. Sometimes it's a page, hey, click another lead or all this other stuff, these little buttons. No, just have one that says, thank you for submitting your online request. We appreciate you. We know that that was a scary moment, but you did it. And my team, we're going to be in touch with you soon with the next steps. As a customer, when you see that, and then especially if you're on there like, hey, we promise to respect the way that you want to communicate. So if you want to text, let's do text. If you want to email, let's do email. If you want a phone call, let's make a phone call. But you know what I'm getting at here is just making sure that we are personalizing the experience to make sure that customer feels good, not as vulnerable. Number two, 